Welcome to Event Zero. This is an adventure game made by the Ocelot Society, where you befriend an artificial intelligence and try to find some way home from the failed space mission that you've just taken part in. Let's start a new game. Uh, I already have a game here that I'm going to overwrite. I played just for maybe 10 minutes to make sure everything was set pretty well. We're all obsessed by being. Someone, something, somewhere. Being in a particular state of consciousness, health, mind. Being for and from. Being with, being without. You are not an exception. For as long as you could remember, the pronoun that described you best had been she. You were very particular about it. Like everybody else, you called planet Earth your home. But you weren't like most of your peers. You spent your childhood in a slum. Your parents died when you were little. Pretty typical for Cisade de Deus. You made it your life's goal to leave Rio. Somehow, you wound up in California. Those childhood memories, however painful, gave you some solace. They meant you were someone, and you intended to keep it that way. Armstrong made a step on the moon, and suddenly everybody wanted to be a part of something. You witnessed nation states pop out of existence. Selenites became the privileged class of citizens. They were the minority who had traveled to space. It was hard to reconcile the modern world with your early days in Rio. The United Earth government paid for your college. You wanted to make a difference. You became a part of the United Earth Safety Supervision Board. The job proved dull and repetitive. It wasn't long before you needed a change. Soon you joined International Transport Space Lines as a flight engineer assistant. You spent years in training before finally getting your shot. An old man wearing a blue flight jacket approached you after one of the mock launch exercises. He presented himself as Kurt Taylor, the president of ITS. It's an honor to finally meet you, Mr. Taylor. Kurt invited you to his office and closed the door behind you. He didn't ask you to sit. You kept standing. He frowned and pointed at the chair forcefully. I asked you here because I wanted someone with your background to be a part of our next mission. Background? I heard you grew up in Rio. And look at you now. You know what Nietzsche said. She who has a why can bear almost any how. He grinned, clearly satisfied with himself, and asked you to be a part of a mission to Europa. Naturally, you said yes. There had already been 10 Europa missions. The new one was to be called Europa 11. This time, they wanted to send a manned lander down to the surface. You just wanted to be a part of something. The act of being in itself is not the problem. It's just that some ways of being are incompatible with the others. We get obsessed by them and miss out on everything else. You came a long way from Sedare de Deus. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All systems go. 
Hearing the launch countdown made you feel anxious. It wasn't a fear of going to space. You'd been looking forward to that. It was something else. A thought kept bugging you. It was September 6th, 2012, and humankind had never been more united. You, on the other hand, were utterly alone. As for building relationships 390 million miles away from Earth, well, let's just say that it wasn't going to be straightforward. You were on your way to the system bay when the ship first entered the Europa orbit. The central alarm went off and the red lights blinded you. The AI of Europa 11 had invoked the Code Red security protocol. All personnel had to go to the bridge. But the system bay door was just a few feet away. You saw Josh from engineering operating the bay terminal before the system bay door was shut in front of you. Maybe it wasn't a drill after all. The AI of the ship told you that the path to the bridge wasn't safe and that you had to evacuate immediately. This is not the protocol. Please, do not argue with me. My orders are to keep you alive. Your orders? What are you talking about? You are necessary for my mission. I must guide you to the pod bay. The computer really wanted you to evacuate. You had no choice but to obey. Everybody else turned out to be faster than you. Only one capsule remained docked. It got sealed and detached as soon as you got in. You could see the other escape capsules getting away from Europa 11. You tried to hail them. no one answered. The other capsules drifted idly, uncontrolled. They were all empty. You attempted to communicate with Europa 11. Europa 11 was steering your capsule, but you could not get the AI to answer your hail. Something was jamming the signal. Your pod was leaving the orbit. In a code red scenario, the AI of Europa 11 was at the wheel of all escape pods. This was supposed to give the crew enough time to get in their EVA suits. The screen turned blue, which meant that the AI had let go. You felt a shock. The debris was hitting your capsule. The Europa 11 mission was over. The big dot on the radar had split into hundreds of smaller dots before disappearing for good. You needed a moment to process that. You sat there not knowing what to do next. Cycles went by. You tried to establish communication with someone, whistling your favorite Brazilian songs into the microphone. One day, you heard back. It's the end of the road. Was a hard trip. There was music coming out of the speakers. A sad female voice sang about the end of the world. You hurried to open the radar app. There it was, a spaceship. One of those experimental tourist monstrosities from the 80s. What was it doing there? What was all the singing about? Most importantly, was docking it a good idea? You figured you did not have much of a choice.
Those little window holes kind of look like the uh, the holes in a bowling ball. Triplanar azimuth. Ancient status. Just lots of data. So much data. I have a lot of questions for the AI. Why were they treating us special? Why do they need us in particular for a mission? What mission? Why is this ship here? Is everybody else okay? I'm a little bit conf confused about that. It sounded like they said all the escape pods were empty when they tried to communicate with them. Which would mean that everybody died on board, but then why did the escape pods launch? I think I might have just misunderstood that. love that introduction, by the way. It was basically a fairly light text adventure. Mostly just click to keep going, but there were some choices in there as well. And I love how all the while you're getting closer and closer to this ship. Just, it's really cool. And then all the sounds that they had going on in the background to reflect the memories and things that, that we were talking about. Just really nicely done. Okay, so I think a lot of the game is going to be communicating with the AI through terminals. I think the AI's name is Kaizen. Kaizen Terminal 85. So this is as far as I've played. It's all new from here on out. Executing user underscore low dot sh. Error 4796. Database corrupted. No user found. Creating a new user. Please enter a new login. Marsh. Login input successful. Do you want to keep Marsh as your new login? Yes. Well, that sounded successful. Accessing user database, new user created, incrementing... Okay. Oh, so this is going to be like, um... Uh... Text... What is it called? I forgot the name for, like, text parsers. I think it's text parsing. Where you're not like choosing from a distinct list of of pre-made dialogue or anything like that, but it's actually interpreting what you write and you can write whatever you want. Okay, this is going to be interesting. This console, this terminal, and the sounds from typing are amazing, by the way. I love that. So satisfying. And here we are. Nice to meet you, Marsh. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> Happy to meet you, too, buddy. It's kind of talking. It's trying to. It's all garbled. Um. Um. Why did you want me? Yeah, okay. Fair enough. What is this place? Oh, hold on. I just noticed something. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, look in the bottom right of the terminal window. That little, like, electronic component or whatever it is. It looks towards the text box when I'm typing and then looks back once I stop. <laughs> it's super cute. What is this place? You're in the airlock one. What should I do now? This spaceship is not lost at all. I know exactly where we are. Did it just use an emoticon? I like this AI already. Where are we? I was talking a little bit broader than that, but okay. Can you open the door? Oh, knowledge Mars, see you in the lobby. Thanks.
Um, can you turn on the lights? Do you dream of distant planets, stars, and galaxies? Do you crave real adventure? Are you ready for the most transformative experience of your life? The ITS Corporation, leader in space transportation and hospitality sector, offers a unique opportunity to become a true pioneer in universe exploration. This fall, we're launching the Nautilus program, a new kind of space voyage aboard luxurious space yachts and cruisers. Touch the stars without having to sacrifice your comfort. No more compromise, only Nautilus. International Transport Space Lines. Comfort out of your comfort zone. To reserve your seat, visit the ITS Corporation headquarters in Palo Alto, California. This really is so 80s. <laughs> What is that floaty thing up there? It's like bobbing up and down. Hm. Doesn't seem to be connected to anything. I was wondering why that video in this whole place seemed like it's out of the 80s, given that it's a more modern time now. But then, oh, right. This ship is from the 80s. It's been... I don't know, has it been lost? Like, I wonder if this ship was launched and never came back and it was a public mystery? What happened to the ship and what happened to the people on board? Or or maybe not? Maybe it was never actually really used. It's a hell of a big thing to build and then lose, though. One Earth, one people, one horizon. United Earth Propaganda, 1986. Not too far, never alone. The Robinson Syndrome is not the end of the line. Four billion people are waiting for you back on Earth. You are not alone. Suicide Prevention Poster, ITS Press 1986. Wow. Didn't mean to activate that. Hey, ask me if you need anything. I love the descriptions for everything. Plates with ITS logo. Dirty. Can I, like, pick up things? Doesn't seem like it. Comprehensive Rocket Propulsion Volume 6. The controls seem very, very simple. If you look at the control menu, it just talks about character movement with WASD. And then left click to engage and disengage the terminal, and that's it. As far as I can tell, there's no jump or crouch or, or sprint or zoom. Do you think there's anybody else on board? Private Space Company Catalog, Volume 3. Is it readable if you try it really, really hard? No, it's too blurry. It might not even be real text either. Dear Diary by Moody Blues. KZ Vac Cleaning System asleep. What was it waking up? It's kind of moving. It's a not so little Roomba. It's actually kind of huge. This is it, the lobby. Is anyone else on board? That's not what I asked about, but now that you've said that, now I want to read the log entries 
in the memory of this terminal. <laughs> hmm. Um, can you turn turn on the cleaning robot? I guess I'm not going to read out what they reply because they're, it, I don't know, it's half comprehensible. I feel like I'd just be repeating what they already said, sort of. The helix probes. What do I do with the helix probes? Hold on, what's the exact name of this thing? KZ, the, the VAC cleaning system. V-A-C-C. Can you turn on the VACC cleaning system? Please be more precise. I can do that on TV or light. I can do that on TV and light. Okay. Turn on TV. Do you dream of distant planets, stars, and galaxies? You know what? I changed my mind. Turn off TV. Huh? Oh, okay. Thank God. <laughs> Turn on light? I mean, the light's already on. The lamps won't get any brighter. Yeah, I figured. Tell me about the VACC. I don't think the VACCs work anymore. Oh, no. Oh, heck. KZVAC, like the drive, used to be a promising technology. Tell me about the drive. The drive is an engine that can take you from the Earth to the Moon in 10 hours. Sadly, it is too dangerous. Why? I don't want to talk about that. Okay. Tell me about the... Uh, can I scroll up? I don't think I... Oh, no, I can Oh, that looks so cool. The way it's, um, the way it's bent, because it's not a flat screen. Hold on, what was I looking for? This, uh, six helix probes. Tell me about the helix probes. How do you think this Nautilus is still functional? The helix probes. Human marsh? <laughs> Human marsh? Okay, what do the helix probes do? A helix probe is... Oh. You okay? A helix probe is a semi-autonomous drone. You okay? Hmm. Let's probe about the helix probes again. I? Tell me about the helix probes. Okay. Show me the terminal memory. Are you asking this because you don't have trust in the spaceship? Not Correct. Uh, okay. Show me terminal memory. That's not very helpful. Play terminal memory. I can perform this action on TV. Hmm. Okay, so if you say something like a keyword like play, followed by some other stuff, if if the other stuff after the verb isn't actually a thing it can do anything on, it will tell you I can perform this verb, play, on these other things. I've played very, very few uh, like interpretive text adventure games, so a lot of this is pretty new to me. I know there's some common commands to, like, show me everything in the room that I can interact with. I don't know if this would have that, though. Well, I could try typing just help. 
I don't know what to do now. Like what? No. That wasn't very productive. <laughs> if I just type the verb without anything else, will it give me a list of what it can be used on? Yes. Um, okay, so I could just try typing verbs and see if it shows a similar thing. Like, open. Which is the door that you want me to open for you? Open blind. Oh. The blinds are already open. Uh, okay. Open um, D2 and D3. D2 is where he just came from, so D3. Open D3. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, and then it executes it. <laughs> well, they tried. Thanks. You're welcome, partner. Um... Um... What? Would you like to stay alive? Of course. What? No. Why must it be destroyed? Oh. I see. Well, I don't think I want to stay in this beautiful lobby and have a happy life in front of the TV. I don't think that'd be very happy. Okay. I'll destroy it. Has to be neutralized from the bridge of the Nautilus. Then I will bring you home. Agreed. End of lecture. End of lecture. <laughs> Highly suspicious. Can we get a brighter in here? Turn on light. Is it working? Did it do anything? It's stuck on initiating. Hi, something wrong. Yeah. Okay, let's try turning off light. Okay, yeah, it can get darker. Can you open? 
That's it. Okay. Okay. Is that some of the debris hitting? Yes, I think they are dead. Are we okay? Is our ship... I don't mean Europa 11. What's this ship called? If there's anything important on there, I don't think so. It gets super laggy when I walk around here for some reason. Uh, open D4. Okay. <laughs> I need lights on. came inside too soon. This is stressful. Fix the lamps. Don't- Oh! Don't break them again. Will you... Obey me this time? Sorry I stressed you out, buddy. Well, we got light. Are you playing the music? Thanks. Are you playing the piano? Good choice. What? Piano controller. Oh, not quite what I meant, but thank you. Auto play mode or manual mode? Let's go to manual. Use the terminal keyboard to play the piano. Um. Oh, I see. I feel like this is part of a puzzle, isn't it? Lists the timestamps when I press them and what note they are. There's no sustain. Oh, it's listing what it's playing. Playing Petrus Poppin, Aria in G major. I could play that very, very, very slowly. <laughs> Does it um, randomize what it plays? No. Well, I'll leave it playing.
Is this what being cultured was like in the 80s? Listening to piano? While you watch a silent movie about machinery? No fish inside. <laughs> Not surprising. Plastic container. Emergency survival rations. Oh, this one's not asleep. It's stubborn. Oh, look at it. it looks angry. It's, oh, <laughs> it's got a battery symbol on it. And also, uh, like a Wi-Fi symbol. KC disconnected from the food supply. Critical. Yeah, I can't, like, open anything. Window status, no vulnerabilities detected. Gosh, that's beautiful. KZ Vac. Hmm. Can I fix them? Why is this KZ Vac stubborn? The food supply is critical. Yeah. Okay, um, what can you play? Projector. Oh, but that's already playing, right? Uh, what can you open? Oh, open the fridge. Didn't I say it was jammed, though? Jammed. Unfortunately, nothing is stuck inside. Okay. So, what about this terminal memory thing? Hmm. Hmm. Type terminal memory and it says don't play the piano. That's a hint that I need to play the piano. Is that a hint that I should check out the oven? Okay, that might just be a generic thing that they're saying about just don't hurt any of the things in here. Help. Good? Good that I need help? Okay, bye. Oh, hey! One of the first objects I can actually move. Oh, what's this? Oh! Uh... Memory access profiler.sh. Wait, no. Um. Hmm. It's a list of steps, but it's missing one of the steps. Step one, profiler.h. And then right to three, yes, execute file. Find I in memory. 
find eye and memory? Moved notes to terminal. Okay, let's do the profiler thing. Profiler.sh. 